Good afternoon. We are broadcasting live from the Belt Residence, specifically Jason's room. Let's look at Luke chapter 6, verses 44 through 46. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. A good person brings good things out of the good stored up in their heart, and an evil person brings evil things out of the evil things stored up in their heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart. Lord, I want to be more faithful in my heart. Lord, I want to be more holy in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Lord God, center our hearts in this time on you. Remind us that no matter what obstacles we face on the outside, if we have Jesus on the inside, we are well secure in his hands. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What are our hearts full of? How are we responding to the difficult situation we find ourselves in. Jason and I went to the dollar store today and I was a little taken aback because we had to stand in line to get in the store, into the dollar store, y'all. And in that moment, I had to sit back and question what my own heart was full of. I mean, really, the dollar store, I had to stand in line, unbelievable. And yet each day, each one of us responds to the difficulties of the day with what's full in our hearts. We respond sometimes unconsciously because as Jesus said, it's all these things that come out of what's on the inside. What are our hearts full of? What are the thoughts and feelings that we carry into each day? I ran across an analogy that I thought was kind of profound. You're holding a cup of coffee and someone comes along and bumps into you, shakes your arm, and the coffee spills everywhere. Why did you spill the coffee? Because somebody bumped into me. That's the wrong answer. You spilled the coffee because there was coffee in the cup. Had there been tea in the cup, you would have spilled tea. Whatever is inside of the cup is what will spill out. Therefore, when life comes and shakes us, which does happen, whatever is inside of us will come out of us. It's easy to fake it when things are going well but let there be a shelter in place order. Let me have to stand in line at the dollar store. And then what's inside of me comes out. So we have to ask ourselves every day, what's in my cup? When life gets tough, what spills over? Joy, gratefulness, peace, humility, or anger, bitterness, harsh words, and reactions. Life provides the cup to each one of us. We choose how to fill it. So today, let's work toward filling our cups with gratitude, forgiveness, joy, words of affirmation and kindness, gentleness, and love for others. Let's Fill our cup with the love of God that's found in Jesus Christ. Let's fill our cup with those things that please God. Let's fill our cup like the songwriter said, wanting to be like Jesus in our hearts so that when we are rattled and shaken, what spills out of our cups 
is the love of God through Jesus Christ. Let's pray for one another that each of us might find our cups filled more with the grace of God. Amen.